Released lapel footage shows Bernalillo County deputies responding to a deadly DWI crash on I-25. Two people died and now a Cuba police officer is charged in the case. News 13 Stephanie Chavez shows us the gruesome scene. Stephanie. Jackie, this mangled van is what deputies found when they arrived on the scene of the crash at the beginning of the month. Deputies say 29 year old Brandon Barber, a Cuba police officer and member of the New Mexico National Guard, was driving the wrong way on I-25. We want to warn you, some of this video is disturbing. Oh my God. This is the moment Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies arrived on the scene of a wrong way crash on I-25 near Tramway. This vehicle hits this vehicle. Okay, were they both going the same way or were they coming opposite direction? No, this one was coming opposite direction. Witnesses tell deputies the wrong way driver did not have his headlights on. Deputies later identified that driver as 29 year old Brandon Barber. So you can't recall anything at all that happened? No. I, I, I wish I could, dude. I wish I could. A member of the New Mexico National Guard and a Cuba police officer. Apparently he's a, he's a 34 from Cuba. Not anymore. On scene, deputies found an open container in Barber's truck. I do smell alcohol on you. Uh, but he claimed he'd only had two beers and stopped drinking at 7 o'clock the prior evening. And what did you have? Oh, this like this. Okay, this like this. Okay. While deputies try and conduct a field sobriety test on Barber. All I need to do is follow my finger just a second. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm too sorry. Two seconds, dude. I'm so sorry. Firefighters use the jaws of life to get the three victims out of the crushed van. One of them is still alive. Two ten seven one is still breathing. I don't. If that dude makes it. He's a fighter, dude. So that is that is a rowdy crash. Barber is transported to UNMH, where one of the deputies questions him further. What time did you start about drinking? You said you ended at seven. You told me on scene. Oh right? yeah. Barber changes his story, saying he only had one beer. But he couldn't remember anything else, including where he'd been drinking. Where was that at? Uh, in Albuquerque somewhere? Uh, honestly, I think it was like Bernalillo, honestly. Barber is now being charged with two counts of vehicular homicide and great bodily harm by vehicle. Barber was released from jail last week. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Stephanie. The sheriff's office says at last check, the surviving victim is still in critical condition at UNMH.